May 5th, 71st day of full-scale Russian invasion of Ukraine. The Russian military continues an active offense in the east, destroying everything on their way. On the night of the May the 5th, the city of Kramatorsk, Donetsk region, fell as the victim to the occupiers again. The missile I struck hit the city center where there is no military infrastructure. The enemy fired 32 high-rise apartment buildings, a kindergarten, two schools, a boiler room, and commercial premises. 25 осіб всього поранено, госпіталізовано 6 осіб. Fortunately, most residents of high-rise buildings were evacuated to other regions of Ukraine. Therefore, there were no casualties. On the 8th of April, the enemy hit the missile on the Kramatorsk railway station. 52 people died and more than 100 were injured then. May the 5th was the third day since the occupiers had broken through the defenses of the Azovstal plant in Mariupol and had been storming it continuously. To destroy Azovstal completely, the enemy uses aircrafts, artillery and infantry. Moreover, they record their shelling on video and publish it on the internet. Більше 150 людей з Азовсталі і ще більше 300 людей з самого Маріуполя і околиць, які цього тижня вийшли гуманітарним коридором отримуть всю допомогу, яка їм зараз уже потрібна. Nevertheless, there are still civilians in the plant shelters, women, children and old people. They have not seen the sun for more than two months. They are without medicine, food and water. Also, in the underground hospital, there are several hundred wounded soldiers. Мне больно смотреть, когда люди умирают на руках просто из-за недостатка антибиотиков. В 2022 году от гудойных ран нас постоянно обстреливают с воздуха, моря и земли. Остановить этот кошмар. The Azovstal military has repeatedly asked Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan to transport exhausted military men of the armed forces of Ukraine and civilians blocked at the Mariupol plant to Turkey by sea through an exfiltration procedure. The Russians are constantly violating the regime of silence and don't allow the wounded to be taken to the territory of Ukraine, so they are dying in terrible agony in the shelter of the plant. Дайте можливість забрати тіла воїнів, щоб українці могли попрощатися зі своїми героями. If the hell of earth exists, it is now the city of Mariupol. And this is once again evidenced by a video released by the Mariupol City Council. The filtration camp organized by the Russians is a true analog of concentration camp, but in the 21st century in Europe. In the ghetto, Russians keep about 2,000 Mariupol residents without documents. They were forcibly taken to the territory not controlled by Ukraine. Men have to sleep in school corridors. There is only one sink with cold water for more than 300 people, and it's incendiary everywhere. The prisoners are being kept without medicine or medical care. One case of tuberculosis has already been reported in the camp. Men are threatened with reprisals for violating discipline, and they are forced to work for the improvement of Mariupol to create a picture of peaceful life in the city for Russian propaganda. Even people with disabilities are forced to work. Also, Ukrainians were warned that occupiers planned to take them to the so-called Victory Parade on the 9th of May in Mariupol under the guise of prisoners of war. To do this, they want to disguise the prisoners in the uniform of the Ukrainian armed forces. The Russian military men killed volunteers who tried to save animals in the Eco Park not far from Kharkiv city. The tragedy happened while they were trying to evacuate African buffaloes. The teenager who was killed helped his parents to feed the animals and to transfer them to a safe place. For now, he is the sixth volunteer who was killed by the Russian soldiers in the park. The eco park has been shelled a couple of times. That is why all the animals have to be taken to different parts of Ukraine. The place where Russian soldiers killed Ukrainians has been found in the town of Trestenets in Sumer region. The torture chamber was arranged in the basement of a railway station. 
The shocking footage has been revealed by the member of the supervisory board of Ukraine Railways, Sergei Leshenko. There are still traces of blood on the walls, together with the paintings which have been drawn by occupants. There one can notice a man, a plane which is dropping a bomb, a snake and a cross. Also, the enemy tried to create a map of its offensive campaign and the location of Ukrainian military forces. Russians have completely destroyed the city of Popasna, Luhansk region. This was confirmed by the head of the Luhansk Regional State Administration, Sergei Haidai. CNN reporters have shown the view of what is left from the city. They also managed to record street fights in Papasna. After the war, it will be necessary to restore not only the infrastructure, but also every residential building. Nothing sacred. Occupants have shelled the Svetohirsk Lavra in Donetsk region. This was informed by the Office of the Prosecutor General of Ukraine. As the result of the attack, the building of the dormitory was hit. According to preliminary information, at least seven people were injured. The Lavra currently serves as a shelter for those who have had to leave their homes because of the war. Уважаемые товарищи, хочу сказать, что выполняя поставленные задачи по защите наших людей на Донбассе, по обеспечению безопасности нашей Родины, российские солдаты и офицеры действуют мужественно, как настоящие герои. Наши военнослужащие сражаются стойко, с полным пониманием правоты своего дела. Никогда не откажусь от своего убеждения, что русские и украинцы – это один народ. Наши солдаты и офицеры стремятся не допустить жертв среди мирного населения. С полным пониманием правоты своего дела. Жертвуют собой, своей жизнью, чтобы спасти боевых товарищей и мирных жителей. В ходе боев и наши военнослужащие, и ополченцы Донбасса проявляют действительно массовый героизм. Наш народ гордится своими вооруженными силами. Специальная военная операция идет в строгом соответствии с графиком, по плану. Все поставленные задачи успешно решаются.